reason for honeycomb in concrete what are the reasons for forming honeycombs in concrete is it workability is it segregation it is structural design issue what's the reason what are the consequences of forming honeycombs we'll see i'm prasad from structural guy please subscribe our youtube channel you may get the notification on new videos how the workability affect to the formation of honeycombs as we can see here in the slum test what happened even in some tips you can see the honeycombs or the small cavities form there why it is this low workability this could be due to the low water human ratio or low water content due to the delay in concrete getting to the site some could have lost those kind of issues could be there with that workability reduce when concrete is less workable even though you compact it adequately grout mix could not grout and the concrete mix aggregate mix won't make it properly if the workability is less the grout and the concrete mix could not meet the re required compaction as you can see here there are uncompacted areas or oh, this could be due to the less workability even though you put the poker vibrate into the concrete the concrete could not compacted properly due to the low workability of the concrete therefore you have to have adequate workability in the concrete and you have to make sure it is there before concrete pouring inadequate vibration and the compaction if you don't do in the adequate vibration if you don't do compaction properly there could be formation of honeycombs in the concrete as you can see in this figure you could have adequate workability there but less compaction could have lead to form these honeycombs it seems this area haven't compacted adequately these kind of situations you have to handle properly because if if this happened everywhere in the structure there will be issues therefore the consistency in the compaction or the vibration of concrete shall be maintained this could be done through the skill labor and continuous supervision of the construction work reinforcement congestion this is not a construction issue this is a design issue when you do the detailing or then you do the designs you have to do it correctly adequate member sizing adequate reinforcement spacing to pour the concrete shall be maintained if if you have a reinforcement congestion like this this is kind of a design error so in this kind of situations you could have increased the element sizes or you could have taken other measures to have a adequate gap between reinforcements like increasing bar diameter also could be done to maintain the space to pour the concrete and to pour put the poker into the concrete segregation most commonly recognized issue in the formation of the honeycombs if it is if the prefall height is very high or if there are improperly mixed concrete or if there is a issue in the mixed design there could be a segregation in the concrete segregation means the separation of the cement mortar mix from the aggregate as you can see in these figures there is a clear evidence of separation the mortar mix with the coarse aggregate if this is the case they are definitely could form the honeycombs because with this separation even though you vibrated the grout might not reach to the surface or the mortar mix not combined with the aggregate coarse aggregate adequately have the required compaction or the required finish therefore consider the effect of segregation when you do the construction work this is a construction issue mainly but this could cause due to the issues in the mix design inadequate cover to the reinforcement if you have a congestion area and also if you don't have adequate cover there will be spaces where the rain pour, where the concrete cannot flow into the cover zone in such cases the honeycombs could form so if you have a if you doesn't have adequate space to concrete pour the honeycomb could 
could form in the concrete surface. Apart from that, as we discussed previously also, if you have a closed space reinforcement like this, that also uh, one kind of a reason to form the honeycomb because there's no space to concrete to flow. So with that, the cavities like this will be formed. What are the consequences of honeycombs? If honeycombs form, it definitely affects the durability of the structure. If there are improperly treated honeycomb, if you haven't treat the honeycomb, it will definitely affect the durability. Reinforcement corrosion and deterioration of the concrete could occur. In addition, if you have honeycombs in the concrete, it reduces the strength of the concrete. Compression strength will be lesser than we expected. In addition, there could be again durability issues like water leakage or serviceability issues. Again, there will be a other issues like vocal water leakage to the honeycombs. If the honeycomb continues into the structure, through these honeycombs, water could leak. If there are sur surface cracks, so these will connect with the honeycomb and there will be a chance of leaking water. And again, it will be connected to the durability. So if continuously, continuous flowing water through this and as we know, with the presence of moisture and oxygen, reinforcement could corrode. Therefore, if there are water leakages, there are possible, there are durability issues. Therefore, we have to be careful and we have to treat these honeycombs properly. The honeycomb repair shall be done in acceptable manner. With that, we end the today's discussions on honeycombs. Let's meet again in video. Thank you very much for watching our videos.